Argentina come into the World Cup, as usual, as one of the major favourites. This time, however, there's plenty of reason that they can remind us of their run to the 2014 final, rather than a meek exit in Russia last time out. Manager Lionel Scaloni was put in charge somewhat reluctantly after that tournament, mostly due to financial difficulties within the Argentinian Football Association, but it's turned into a masterstroke. They are currently on the longest unbeaten run in the international game and won their first major international glory for 28 years when they lifted the 2021 Copa America trophy. Scaloni has settled on a tactical system which does what many of his predecessors had failed to do, getting the best out of Lionel Messi without overloading him as the single dangerous player within the side. This team is now a possession-based attacking force who control games while suffocating opponents into submission. Set up in a 4-3-3, Argentina rely on a deep-lying pivot with two attacking box-to-box -box number eights in front. In the Copa America, these were more often than not Giovanni Lo Celso and Rodrigo De Paul, but Lo Celso is injured, so a tweak will have to be made there. In front of them, Messi drifts off the right-hand side, the number nine stretches the channels, whether it be Lautaro Martinez or Julian Alvarez, and on the other side, a more traditional winger, usually Angel Di Maria or Nico Gonzalez, keeps the balance of the team intact. But perhaps the most interesting thing about Argentina's tactical setup is just how fluid they are in possession. Keeping things short and on the deck the majority of the time, Argentina create overloads constantly, from building out from the back all the way through to picking apart deep-lying defensive blocks set up against them. This team have become masters of working out how to build numerical superiorities against their opposition when they have the ball, and they have the ball a lot. There's also been a marked improvement in how the Albi Celeste play in transition. Their ability to move the ball quickly is a far cry from the somewhat stagnant possession football that was on show in the last World Cup under Jorge Sampaoli. As counter-attacks begin, sky blue and white shirts flood forward, sowing discord in opposition ranks and taking full advantage of chaotic situations to create good goal-scoring opportunities. Messi, somewhat obviously, remains the story of this team. This will likely be his last World Cup and his last chance to emulate what the late, great Diego Maradona did and lead his country to the very pinnacle of the game. His form this season for PSG has been sensational and the great burden he was bearing of a lack of international silverware has been lifted by that Copa America victory. Make no bones about it, Messi is still a force of nature despite his advancing years and he looks happiest in the Albi Celeste shirt these days. Every football romantic on earth is behind him. Also behind him is this incredible supporting cast. And although the number nine position is a fair tussle between Lautaro and Alvarez, it's the Inter man who may well get the nod considering his form of late and his depth of experience. A diminutive, explosive force through the middle, Lautaro is capable of scoring with both feet and with a leap that belies his frame, and his movement causes big headaches for defenders. He dovetails beautifully with the players around him and works hard off the ball too, which complements and helps Messi a lot. Argentina qualified for this tournament in fine style, even if they did finish a couple of points behind their great rivals Brazil in Conmebol. 17 games, 11 wins and 6 draws, but the great victory here from an Argentinian perspective was their defensive solidity. Typically an area of weakness, Scaloni's men have found themselves a rearguard action who have come through at the right time and are playing at the top level. Emi Martinez has made himself indisputable number one between the sticks, whilst in front of him there is a wealth of European top five league quality defenders, of which Christian Romero is the crown jewel. Their resilience in qualifying relatively serenely for this tournament will have lifted the hopes of a nation that for the first time since Maradona's time, the trophy might well be returning to Buenos Aires draped in sky blue and white. And so that's the ambition here, don't have it any other way. With the curtain coming down on the international career of one of the greatest players that the world has ever seen, Lionel Messi will know that only gold will put him firmly alongside another little number 10 in the footballing pantheon of his nation's heart. And at 6-1 to one to win the whole lot, odds have shortened in recent weeks, you can see that there's a real possibility that he and the Albi Celeste are right in the conversation to do so.